Hello friends and welcome back. This is our third exercise on arrays. And here's the exercise. I want you to write a program that displays the number of occurrences of an element in the array. So have a look over here. Suppose that we have this array. Now suppose that our program is working with the number 3. So it should display something like this. The number 3 occurs one time in the array. And as you can see in this array, the number 3 appears one time. Now suppose that we are searching for the element 1. In this case, the element 1 occurs 3 times in the array. As you can see, we have 1 3 times. Another example, if we have the element 7, then in this case it occurs 0 times, alright? So our program should take a number and calculate the number of occurrences of this number in the array. Now you might be asking, what about this number? From where you should get it? Of course, you can read it from the user, or you can put it yourself in the program. This is not important. So pause the video and try to do this. So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see, we have an array of integers and we have a variable which is called search element. This will be the value that we will search for in the array. And as I said, this value can be taken from the user. This is not important. Now to solve this exercise, I'm going to write a method that takes an array and an integer as parameters. And this method will return the number of occurrences of this element in the array. So let's get started. Let's make it a public method, of course it should be static, and it returns an integer, because the number of occurrences will be an integer. Let's call it get number OCC, so get number of occurrences. After that, we will pass our array, and we will pass the search element. So let's declare an array over here, let's call it numbers also, and let's pass our search element, okay? Now in this method, we want to calculate the number of occurrences of the search element in the array. So how are we going to do this? First of all, let's create a variable which will hold the number of occurrences. And of course, it starts at zero. And after that, we will iterate over all the elements in the array. Each time, we will compare the element at the index i to our search element. If they are equal, this means that we found an occurrence in the array, right? So we are going to increment the occurrence variable. And this is it. So let's iterate over the array. We will start from zero up until the last element and each time I++. Plus plus. And in this loop, we will test if the search element is equal to the element at the index i. So we will use an if statement. And if the search element is equal to the numbers sub i, this means that we found an occurrence. So if this is true, we will increment the occurrence variable. So what's happening exactly? First of all, we are iterating over all the elements. And each time, if the current element is equal to the search element, we will increment this variable. We are increasing the number of occurrences. And if this condition is not true, we will simply increment this i over here and check the next element. And eventually, when this loop finishes executing, we will have the number of occurrences in this variable. So outside the loop, when we finish, all we have to do is to return this variable. Alright? So now let's use this method in the main method. Let's print the number of occurrences of the search element in this array. So let's use our method. We will pass the numbers array and our search element. In this case, the search element is equal to three. So our method should return one, okay? Because the number three occurs one time in the array. Run the program. And as you can see, we have one over here. Let's see another example. I will search for the element one. Run the program again. And as you can see, we have three occurrences. And this is because the number one occurs three times in this array. Now let's search for the number 5 for example, run the program, and as you can see, we have 0 over here. And this is because this variable starts at 0. So when we are iterating over this array, this condition over here was always false. So we did not modify the occurrence variable and we returned 0. Alright? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.